Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sticky Bird Poo, and I will be talking today about some of the chest drop rate changes that have happened over the last several months, what they are currently, and how that affects the current game and upcoming patch. Zenimax Online Studios, Zoss, informed the Elder Scrolls Online community of upcoming downloadable content on September 5th, informing of, among other things, a way to customize your item traits. The process will be called transmutation. In short, if you have a dagger with the charge trait and would rather have the infused or precise trait, you will be able to switch that item's trait to fit your needs. You must first ensure you have the ability to craft daggers with that trait. You'll be able to find a transmutation station in the heart of the brass fortress within the clockwork city, or acquire one for your home from a certain master writ merchant. In addition to crafting skill requirement, transmutation requires a special new resource called transmutation crystals that you'll need to collect and save. You'll be able to earn transmutation crystals by completing veteran level content such as veteran mode dungeons or trials. Now I can tell you the chest drop rates have received a soft nerf which may be due to the upcoming downloadable content which will allow players to change their weapon and armor traits. After looking at the upcoming changes, it makes sense that they had to nerf the drop rates for chests. It would be considerably easier to get your desired traits for a given item. When I started doing my analysis of my most recent chest farm I did, I almost thought it was broken again. However, under the combat fixes and improvements for patch notes 3.1.6, Gina Bruno, the admin for Zaw, stated that the treasure hunter perk was fixed. Given that they have fixed the error, the only remaining possibility that I can see is that the reduced drop rates are intentional and they reflect a needed nerf in preparation for the upcoming trait changes of the Clockwork City DLC. In May of 2017, I did an in-depth analysis of Riven Spire's drop rates and a consistency of getting gear sets from those chests. My findings were simple chests had a 50% chance of dropping zone loot, intermediate chests had a 100% chance of dropping a blue zone item, advanced chests had a 100% chance of purple zone loot, and the master chest had a 100% chance of purple zone loot, plus a 33% chance of an additional green zone item. The changes I have noticed are pretty consistent with intermediate, advanced, and master chests, but the simple chests have changed dramatically. As of September 3rd, 2017, Simple Chests have had a 37% drop in potential zone set items. However, all other chests have been unaffected. In addition, my preliminary findings were 70% of the chests I found were Simple Chests. But as of this moment, I would have to do further testing to guarantee the 70% spawn rate was consistently accurate. It is my belief that the decreased item set drop rate and increased simple chest spawn rates reflect the upcoming changes with the Clockwork City DLC, which will allow players to change armor and weapon traits. I believe this will help re-energize the veteran dungeon community and add value to what is currently a diminishing part of the game. Many players do not feel as much of a need in this current patch to do veteran dungeons for gear or monster homes. This DLC will help encourage people to go back. I hope this video was informative and helpful. I would recommend players start saving gear pieces regardless of traits in their bank or create a mule character or a bank character to store your currently unwanted gear that has undesired traits for the potential of transmuting those pieces in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next week.